the overword off stream, but let's see. Oh. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch it. If, if I encourage you all to watch it yourself, all right? Watch it by yourself. Oh my god, this looks sick. Hog! All right. Open it in a mute tab. Give him a like. Give him a comment. Just if you just comment, then it oops his analytics. Just honestly. All right. Now I I can give some insight to this, so I'm very excited. Move the camera a bit higher. One two. We shouldn't be. Oh yeah, tell you what. Move cam. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm hyped. There is no instance of nation benefiting the prolonged war. Following events were done by deranged individuals. <laughs> My sick. name is Technoblade, and I am the fastest <laughs> Skyblock player alive. To the outside world, I'm an ordinary Minecraft YouTuber, but secretly, I've spent the last year fighting <laughs> to maintain my spot as the number one potato <laughs> farmer in Skyblock. Opposing me is Squid Kid, the former rank number one, a man whose obsession with potatoes is rivaled only by my own. In my last video, I talked about how the newly added rabbit <laughs> oh my God. at its highest level increased this is the sick. amount of potatoes my minions okay. made by 30%, but I knew Squid would watch my video to find out my tactics, so I left out a few of the finer details. You see, the boost from rabbit pets isn't the same as flycatchers or catalysts. You have to be there on the island for the boost to take effect once you log off or go to somewhere else in skyblock that boost is oh, gone such a bloody... until you come back but while i was experimenting with the Let's rabbit pet, I covered a few interesting facts about how the boost works for instance rabbit pets can boost other people's minions if you're visiting their islands as a guest but minions okay. can only get boosted by one <laughs> rabbit at a time so you can't oh, just get was this edited? Rabbit did he edit him? oh he did potatoes. himself but the third thing i found was the most interesting and this is what Squid so did. five had this if entire there's video rabbit pets on the same island which one boosts the minions You'd think it'd be the strongest one, but it's not. If there's multiple rabbits, the minions will be boosted I'm already by the one fucking belonging confused. to whoever's been on the island. Okay, so rabbit longest. pets can so, boost. Hypothetically speaking, if someone went to their island with their level 100 rabbit when someone was already there with the level 1 one, they wouldn't get their rabbits 30% boost, they'd get the level 1 0.3% boost. Unrelated fun fact Did you know that Squid Kid's Island is still open to visitors? Yeah, that's right. We're doing this again. So <laughs> oh I bought my. a new Minecraft account, slapped a level 1 legend legendary rabbit pet onto it and shipped it off to squid kids afk pool i knew i had to maintain absolute <laughs> secrecy i didn't even tell my goons about this because i knew once squid got wind of this it would be true okay i know I, I don't know if he talks about this in his stream but the big thing he told me was that he had like an alt twitch account that he'd watch all of Squid's streams with and would it was really and be and i one time squid was streaming and i went i don't know if he's going to talk about it in the video and i went into a uh, squid's chat and asked for mod and then he modded me and then i went through techno's accounts chat history <laughs> It was so funny. I waited oh. until the day I released the second Potato War video to start. After that video, tourists flocked to Squid Kid's Island to see it for themselves. My alt blended right in. Every day my alt would sit there in Squid Kid's AFK pool to maintain rabbit priority. In fact, it usually had the rabbit pet deactivated oh, during the day, since you don't need to have the pet out to keep priority. <laughs> and since the rabbit was deactivated, if Squid checked his minions during the day, he'd find Unique nothing wrong with them. But every night around... Video LMFAO. I give it a 50 pounds. Holy crap. Um, send him some. Send him some money. He'll be alright. He didn't have his name in. Around 2 a.m., Squid would leave his account AFK and go to bed. And that's when I'd strike, overriding his rabbit pet boost for the rest of the night. And yes, I memorized Squid's sleeping schedule to pull us off. I mean, at this point, how is that even a question? Of course I did. But unfortunately, complications soon arose. Squid and I had both been rushing to get our rabbits to level 100. I had a pretty heavy lead, and I figured it'd take Squid several more weeks to get his there. But unfortunately, an unknown third party got there first and sold his level 100 legendary rabbit directly to Squid. Of course, he didn't forget to brag about this victory on stream. Oh my. See, I told you! I told you he has a second! Twitch. Oh you know who doesn't have a level 100 pet? Yikes, he has a level 99 rabbit pet. He's poor. It's only level 99. This isn't the VOD either. Oh, actually, is, is this the VOD? Why is he using light mode, man? It... Oh, yeah, no, it is because he can mute him now. Little did he know that while he was flexing on stream... No, it's not the VOD. This was live, dude. Does he show his account? 
Yeah. My ult was right there on his island, overriding his level 100 bonus. But my problems didn't stop there. You see, Squid got an alt account to AFK with his rabbit pet on his island while he was doing other <coughs> things. And since the alt account had no reason to ever leave his island, it became much harder to keep control of pet priority. And sometimes when I had pri- Dankness, thank you for gifting 20 subs. Oh my god, we're gonna priority. keep watching, but thank you very, very, very much. Because it was too full for his alt account to join, meaning I lost priority for the rest of the day. I was going to counter this by spending $30 oh to buy his alt MVP++, since that rank can bypass guest in limits, but unfortunately, on March 20th, my alt was kicked, so much and Squid's Island was closed forever. The jig was up. But by that point, I'd already what? achieved my objective. The, the two weeks it took him to realize Thank what was you going so on much cost him Park. about two million potatoes. Bit of a tangent, but I'm pretty sure I lost a few fans over the rabbit pet because everyone would just be hanging out. They'd just be chilling on my island with their level 30 rabbits activated. Now I'd come see that, and I, I don't care if it's intentional or not. They're sabotaging my potatoes, so I'd kick him out of my island to get priority back. And then they'd come back ten seconds later like, Why did you kick me, Technoblade? I just wanted to meet my favorite YouTuber. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa relax, dude, relax. It's not a big deal. I, I have you know a really funny good dude, reason. He has his own emotes that he uses, and he always, like, exclusively, exclusively, exclusively uses his own emotes through text chat as well. He, he will I, I never. Just, I can't tell you because it's a secret. And I'd be like, it's okay, Technoblade. <laughs> It's like own rendition of edition of Pog. Dankness, holy crap. Thank you for gifting another 20. What the Jesus Christ? Thank you so much. Dude, th I'm, I'm trying to react, Andy. Oh my God, thank you. Me specifically. Oh my God. I'll just go leave forever now. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> Come back, no! So Squid closed his island, which meant I couldn't sabotage him anymore. But what if I told you that was also part of my master plan? You ever noticed how my island has been open to visitors during the potato war? In the I last did. video I explained, I made an AFK machine on my island. Any of my so videos in the rack potatoes would keep growing even when I wasn't online. I was actually using an advanced so technique times, there dude. called Holy Lion. Crap. This clip of the AFK pool is from November. I didn't even build the manual farm until January. You might recall from the first potato war video that minions behave differently depending on whether there's it, people dude. on the island or not because if no one's on the island hypixel's not going to waste resources keeping keep that server online so they're going to close the server and then when you come back they're going to go oh well it's been seven hours it, it's going to run a calculation and give you seven hours worth of stuff but as we've seen before that calculation isn't perfect so i ran an experiment and in the experiment i found that when someone's on my island i get 10 percent more potatoes and there was only one thing boosting my minions by 10 percent the farm crystal. The farm crystal is an external buff, so it's not included in the offline calculation. So if there's at least one person on my island and Squid's I'm island so is empty, taken aback I get by 10 all of this. more potatoes. Now it was easy to get people like, I can respect it, it but I don't really un like. Off of Squid's it's island. so you see, oh my god, Dankness, thank you for gifting ten subs. Holy crap, it pushed us over 2k, boys. Thank you, man. Yeah, but he's he's sorry if I'm breezing past it as well. I, I'm very excited for this. It's 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 crazy. Even months after the first Potato War video came out when the initial hype was starting to die down a bit, there would be at least one of my own viewers AFK on Squid's Island every night, you know, as a joke. Sometimes I would be on Squid's Island on an alt account and I'd see someone say in the chat, so I'm gonna go hours, AFK dude. to help Technoblade win the Potato War, and I'd, I'd beg them, I'd be like, no, dude, please, please, he fixed that months ago, that doesn't hurt him anymore, and they'd be like, I'm helping, and AFK all night. Squid Kid was getting boosted by my own viewers, and there was nothing I could do to stop them, because what, what was I gonna do? Announce that AFK and helped him? Then even more people would AFK. I realized that the only way to stop this from happening would be to get Squid to close his own island to visitors without him realizing that that's what I wanted all along. It took four long months, but it finally happened. But anyways, back to this tweet. So Squid says he closed his eyes. I'm really worried, you know, because if he ever decides to not just, like, bully children and bully, like, politicians, he can just, like, you know... He could take over, man. I don't... Because someone filled his potion system with rookie axes. A common scary. stolen method in Skyblock is to fill people's inventories with useless items like boats. But the rookie axe is even worse for players like Squid Kid who use the Skyblock add-ons mod, which has a feature which makes it very difficult to drop tools out of your inventory. The point is to stop people from accidentally dropping weapons worth millions of gold, but it also applies to the rookie axe sold in shops for 12 coins. So basically, someone dumping a ton of rookie axes into your hopper system is the worst thing someone can do to you in Skyblock. Now, I've always been interested in psychology. In fact, I almost okay, made it. In. So after six months of stalking Squid Kid, I developed a bit of a psychological profile of this man. I know how he <laughs> talks. I know how he. <laughs> but, sorry, I feel really just awkward thinking that shit he said. But my, my favorite ever ever quote he said to me. Uh, I was in a call with Wilbur Phil and him, and he went. He went in his dead serious voice. He was share screening farming potatoes. He went I, I, just out and there. He was like. 
I've narrowed Squid. I've narrowed Squid Kid down to one of four colleges. And then me and Phil just lost it, man. It's so... I instantly knew that this man was lying. Now, don't get me wrong. I completely believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system because it was me. But that's not the real reason he closed his island. After all, I'd been dropping rookie axes into his hoppers for weeks, but he sent that tweet eight minutes after he kicked my alt. So I get to thinking, why would Squid lie about that? And I realize Squid knows I monitor his tweets, but what he doesn't know is that that was my alt account. From his perspective, that could have been some random guy with a rabbit, and if that was the case, I'd have no idea rabbits could be used that way. As such, him lying in that tweet could only mean one thing. He's about to sabotage me! So I held a stake out on my island, and guess what his I found? Always a catch few me hours off, later, like, a really brand new Skyblock account afk with a level 1 legendary rabbit. Truthfully, I could have stopped Squid before he even joined my island, but I wanted to catch him in the act because I'm always getting comments saying, Oh my god, Technoblade, why are you so mean to Squid? They don't understand. This is war. There's no holding back. I know that, and Squid knows that. The I only difference that. is that I'm 20 well. steps ahead. He's playing Skyblock while I'm <laughs> playing Death Note. He's in <laughs> and he weebs. Dankness again. Thank you for the... the 40, 60 gifted in like the past. I don't, thank you so much, dude. Oh my God. Thank you. Holy crap. You can outsmart me with my own strategies because he is yet to realize that he is but a puppet and I, the puppeteer, dance, potato boy, dance. <sighs> So anyways, I got on my secret <laughs> alt account and then sent his secret alt account what a party invitation. And then I DM'd him on Discord, yo dude, accept my invite. Well, this is awkward. He actually did accept my invite. We had a lovely conversation. And then I banned him from my island. Get out of here. He tried again with another account a few days later. I don't have any proof that this account is him, but look at that username, Stinky Bozo. That's a pretty unusual <laughs> word. In fact, I've only heard one person say it. Bozo, Bozo. You are a Bozo. Bozo. Bozo, Bozo. <laughs> You're a freaking Bozo, Bozo. Dude. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. I did eventually close my island, but not before I, so I made sure five I didn't lose potatoes. Holy After crap. that, I moved on to the next phase of my master plan. If I wanted oh to farm God. more potatoes, I'd have to start farming pumpkins. But wait a minute, Technoblade. That's the wrong vegetable. Wait. What do you mean it's a fruit? Whatever. At this point, we'd pretty much maxed out the output of our minions. The only thing left to work on was the speed we could farm potatoes by hand. The farming skill gives more crops as you level up, so I decided to grind it to the highest level. I did the math and found that farming potatoes is so incredibly inefficient at leveling up farming that it was actually more worthwhile to build a whole pumpkin farm. I began the construction of a pumpkin Replay farm mod. large enough that by the time Dude, I finished all he's missing right now is the pink farming it in full, the pumpkins at Come the on. beginning would have already regrown. I don't even want to tell you how long oh it took to build this. And so I began farming day after day. At times, I'd farm He's for using so long without mod. break that the people watched and thought I was bought Word of my pumpkin farming soon reached Squid, who began farming pumpkins himself. But he only saw the surface level of what I was doing. You see, I wasn't just leveling up my farming skill. I was also leveling up multiple legendary rabbits. There's a reason I wanted to stop people from AFK. I just don't get how he plans this shit, man. It's just like, how? 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 It's because it's almost impossible it's not cause I'm dumb. It's just cause... for one man to AFK every hour of the day because servers restart, the game can update, your internet can go out, and if you're asleep or doing something four, else, you'll dude, be holy out crap. Those bonuses you. until you get back. Even the most dedicated individual might but only average so much, 20 man. hours of AFK coverage per day, and those four hours alone without the rabbit pet and farm and crystal cost you a hundred thousand potatoes. And over time, that adds up. To fix this flaw, I got multiple level 100 rabbits, some leveled myself, and others purchased for tens of millions of coins, and then distributed them to goons in diverse time zones. I set my island so only guild members could visit and had my head goon code a Discord bot that automatically them. <laughs> <laughs> for sad. Five seconds of the rabbit account leaving my island, at which point one of them could log into the island themselves and boost my minions until I got back. After a few weeks, we both reached farming level 50. On May 4th, there was a pet update gifted. which Thank added, you. among other things, the elephant pet, which at its highest level could increase crop yield by 25%. His, his voice starts molding my brain, dude. Me, since it allows squid to catch up that much more quickly. But I had a plan. The reason farming potatoes by hand is so inefficient <laughs> is because so when you break potatoes, they don't grow back. So two thirds of the time you spend on farming is spent replanting the potatoes you just harvested. Squid Kid and his viewers spent many hours trying to find a workaround to this, even building an elaborate redstone machine in an attempt to somewhat automate replanting. But in the end, they failed to find a better method and continued farming normally. I should be able to plant five at the same time. Why is it so Dang. slow? It takes forever. What if I told you? 
I found a way. You see, back in January, I had an idea. What if I had the minions plant for me? At the time, this wasn't practical for two reasons. One, I didn't have enough farming bonuses for it to be worth sacrificing the minions' normal output. But this was solved when I got farming level 50. Secondly, potato minions were simply too slow. But since then, they've buffed flycatchers. Oh, my added God. The rabbit dude, take a minute. Dankness, thank you so much. And thank you, Antil, for the prime. Thank you, dude. Thank you for all the gifted, by the way. Oh, my God. Like, I just want to take a minute just to go. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, my God. <sighs> VIP? No, I don't like doing VIP for donos because then it's like an incentive. And I don't like putting things on for money. But thank you so much, man. Holy crap. Pet and added foul flesh, a new fuel source <laughs> which buffs you. minion speed by 90%. Even then, the potato minions weren't quite fast enough. I've got to watch up. Technoblade. But I thought to myself, if they're only going to be planting, they don't need to waste an upgrade slot on a super compactor. You got so I spent sure another 250 million coins to get 48 total fly cash. When does Technoblade scam tie into this? That was potato potatoes, one. His wasn't method it? could get at most 200,000 Two, potatoes per hour, whereas my method with double fly catchers, even after Christ. subtracting the amount the okay, minions made right. themselves, could get 410,000. It's when he starts throwing in the numbers. So the that's when my head just kind of hours every day. Kind of loses it. I was it. farming at the same time. What are the odds he's farming right now? Five minutes. I bet Techno's doing the same thing. This has 130% faster way to do it. Uh, you're probably wrong. He's on in Twitch. This time I expanded by Why does he not just swap to Twitch? Potatoes. But Stream point, on Twitch, Squid Techno. I've been farming potatoes for almost a year, and we were still farming hours every day with no end in sight. Neither of us wanted this to continue, so we came to an agreement. Whoever got to five. 500 million potatoes first would win the potato war. Hypixel even pitched in saying he'd give a surprise to the winner. Now I was only at 300 million he said potatoes it at set, this point, but I, figured, like I had this in the bag. I mean, I've been tracking half, Squid's think, potato count. To go, oh my god. Yeah, see, that's point, what, you know, I when I was I saying, like, in the bag. I mean, before been school on my physics exam when he introduced me to the techno thing, because this was when I was like, you know, I was into Skyblock at this point, right before SMP Earth, I properly got into it. And he introduced me, and I was like, yeah, have you got any cast? And he sent me a thing that was like this. I was like, oh. it was too much, man. It was too much. Dragon Squid's potato count, I accounted for... It was, it, it's too much for a normal man. For his AFK coverage. It's too many graphs. The Discord bot track is all the count's logins, and I knew how much he was farming by hand because I was monitoring his farming experience. With a 45 million potato lead and a farming method twice as fast as his own, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, and June then six things go very wrong. <laughs> it was just. By the way, by the way, just for anyone that doesn't know, whilst I was recording my um, it was the clip was almost kept in in the auto clicker one v one, but I didn't want to then ask him to if I should. Uh, I messaged Techno if you do it, and he's like, "Can't now, potato crisis. I've been up for twelve hours. Leave me alone." And I was like. <laughs> With that was the one message quality there. of life changes you know like an enchantment which replants crops after you farm them and an item which automatically compacts items this in is that bit i think so you don't have to spend time on that you know two minor changes which just so happened to buff squid's farming method from two hundred thousand potatoes to 1.2 <laughs> million and my farming method becomes worthless. <laughs> Suddenly, my 45 million potato lead goes from insurmountable to, yeah, Squid can farm that in a couple days. Squid starts putting in crazy hours. If I do 12 hours a day, can he keep up? Absolutely not. People say Tech <laughs> Blade never dies, but I'm so bad for Squid, man. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here in shambles. I was out here with my lab coat on, doing the science, coming up with new never before seen potato <laughs> farming techniques and this man just goes admins please replanting is too hard and they buff his farming method sixfold was that it eight months of plotting and scheming just to fail in the I final i don't think strategy? it was no i couldn't accept that i was going to win this war whatever the cost i immediately yes! drank three months of mystical mushroom oh soup and got to work expanded my old replay mod again project here we go take 25 Look at those keyframes boys days. i knew i was playing the game as intended when i realized that the only reason i ever put on one of the strongest armor sets in the game was to use its three percent speed bonus to optimize till and dirt for the next two weeks i did nothing except eat sleep and farm potatoes. There were only three interruptions, that. each of which cost me millions of potatoes. The first was a dentist appointment, and the second was when I had to play in Minecraft championships. What do I message him? Was it worth your time losing MCC? <laughs> <laughs> it took me two hours to lose MCC, but it'll cost you nine months to lose potato. Okay, relax. 
relax, hello? Besides that, Dude, there Squid was Kid one runs on like three insults. He goes like, relax, bozo. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like, okay. So just because so much of it. We're not. What? Like, that doesn't really <laughs> it doesn't help really you. Matter. Shut up, Squid Boy. Oh, oh, you want to say that to my face, buddy? No, I just did. I literally <laughs> just did. <laughs> Let me change my screen. Oh, he fully just runs on like... Oh, dude, I can see it at the bottom right of the thing. That's... Oh, thank you, me. Wait, why do we only fight on your terms? I, I don't know about all this. Because I've won. I've won. You are bad. The people will see it. They will go, L, Squid Boy, oh, this L. This just the best of one fight. I literally woke up minutes ago. Yep. Ah! Oh. Time. I had to go to the store the other day. I had to interrupt my potato farming because my dad was like, Hey, can you go to the store and pick up my medicine? And I was like, Can I really tell him that I'm not getting his medicine because I need to farm potatoes? Can I really do look? I'm an atheist, but when God sends me to hell, I want him to hesitate, okay? I want him to hesitate for a few seconds. But Squid was also farming several hours a day, and he had even found a way to maximize his what? AFK cover. When God sleeping. sends me to hell, I want him to he What the fuck? Moved his headphones on and had his goons wake him up via Discord call whenever what his dog the, left This is like... At this is so far on the other, sen other side of the spectrum to e-dating. It's just unreal. I wake up so my guild members could awake me. I log on 12 hours a day farming, but it's Someone like such on the other spectrum. Online activity, I can tell you right now that that man is telling the truth. He was waking up multiple yeah, times. I mean, it's, it's like, here's e-dating. Normal internet user. Potato madman. Right. And that's why they both- I why he didn't just use backups like me. He actually revealed to me later on that one of my original goons betrayed me and gave him one of our internal documents. Elite the goon techno, because he will and get docs. And the list docs. of backup pet users- Yeah, this is what I was out of two, man. Operation Thunderbolt. And it- <laughs> And a son to zoo clone the dog. Right there at the top of the first page. I have no idea how he missed <laughs> and, it. But... I've never seen someone use custom fonts on Google Docs, but oh anyway, my god. Anyway, Squid logged off an hour and a half ago. He should be entering REM sleep just about now. It would be a real shame if someone woke him. I didn't actually wake him up because I wasn't sure if intentional sleep deprivation was legally considered torture or not. So I decided to shelve that strategy for the time being. And after sacrificing two weeks of my life, I finally reached 500 million potatoes. WE WIN THESE! Squid was shocked. He's at 499? No, he's not. Dude, that's actually, like, it's not possible. No! No! That, no. <laughs> that's how it- It's not! This can't be real! Squid had been certain that he was right on my tail. I don't know how far behind I am. 100% less than 30 million. And yet, when I won the war, I had a lead of over 88 million potatoes. Jeez. How did I do it? It's just as Sun Tzu says, all war is deception. You see, I knew after the second potato war video that things were gonna get more difficult from here on out. Because at this point, Squid had a full organization back in him. He had goons, a cabal of billionaires funding his what every move, hundreds of stream viewers making <laughs> constant shit. suggestions on how to farm potatoes more quickly, and reporting on my every move. So in that video, I prepared my final trick. I hid my true potato count. The number shown in my video wasn't edited, but it didn't include the millions of potatoes left uncollected in my minions. I also say that my minions now produce 1.58 million potatoes, but they're actually <laughs> producing 1.75 million, because the rabbit pet doesn't doesn't actually yeah, boost your minions yeah, by 30%. Yeah. It boosts them by 43%. Why? I don't know. It's probably bugged. And Squid couldn't realize the real number when he got how, a level how of a rabbit of his own because he was being sabotaged. But the biggest reason my lead expanded by that much was because over those two weeks, while Squid averaged yeah, eight hours of farming where... per day, oh. I averaged 11. I just oh. can't believe how much he's farming. <laughs> yeah, we're legit saying that Techno is just like... <laughs> I remember this, man. It was, it was fucking stupid. He had no break. I swear to God, this... Technoblade dude is uh, focused on another level. Towards the very end, Squid had one of his goons write a program to chart how much I was farming by track and how much experience my elephant pet had. But by then, it was too late. Once I won the war, there was nothing left to do except celebrate my victory with grace and humility. Oh my gosh! He's doing a little emote on me! Oh my, not like this! Come on! <laughs> is this necessary? Watch me dance, Squid Kid! You lose! You lose the war! After the war, the admins had a temporary NPC to the Skyblock Hub, the Potato King. It gave out a new talisman which boosted potato minions by 5%, a basket for the top 1,000 potato farmers, and to me, the potato crown, engraved upon it the words, all men can see the tactics whereby I conquer. But what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Sun Tzu, the art of war. That NPC is gone now. I took too long to edit this video. I gained a lot from the potato war. Patience, 
discipline carpal tunnel. I guess my main regret is that I bribed Squid's Discord admin to give my alt permission to see into his secret text channels, and then he never used them all year with the war over Squid That's down. Just terrible! His potato minions and my fields have gone unfarmed. While we were enemies, I still respect Squid Kid. I understand now that it is only with a worthy rival that one can reach their fullest potential. While he may have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. For my part, I've realized now that rank uh, number you one... You know, he's lost a lot of time, mate. I... I, I would say he's... Come on, Tanner. ...isn't an achievement. It's a prison, which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now... With the war finally over, I'm free. Spent all summer farming potatoes instead of uploading. I could have reached three mil by now, Lamau. Technoblade, you've got my like, buddy. Put a link squid kid as well, Tenor. That might have been. It's pretty. Well, wow. That was, I'm trying to think. The, the big thing, as I remember, was he had an alt account that he would watch tech squid streams in and then i i went into squid's chat and was like can you give me mod and then went through his chat history and he just asked him like really subtle questions about it. he didn't even mention that in the video uh, he probably didn't mention half the holy anyway legend wow wow Sorry to react, Andy, and then wham this on the VODs, Tenno, but Christ almighty, I had to, I had to see it. Oh my god. Who are we raiding? Dream and Wilbur? Christ almighty, Fundy, you 